There was a great event with hail in Milan. Collision along the West Ring Road. The most acute phase is expected to occur in the final hours of the day. After a wave of bad weather in the morning, hit the provinces of Como, Verze, Lecco and Bergamo hard. As announced by the weather forecast, and after damage in the morning, the city of Milan and other regions of Lombardy have been hit by a severe storm since 8 p.m. The actual acute phase of rainfall is expected to occur in the evening, when the cumulative amount of rain is expected to exceed 100 mm in 12 hours, with more intense local storms, particularly in the central western and pre-alpine sectors. In Milan at night, around 8 p.m., there was a lot of rain mixed with hail. The seats are very large, even like balls. Half an hour of heavy rain caused considerable discomfort. Along Milan's western ring road between Settimo, Corsico and Asago, flooding also occurred with water levels reaching half a meter in some places. There were also several rear-end collisions due to sudden braking by people who wanted to stop to avoid hail. Many people took refuge under tents or balconies, or in car service areas. Particular discomfort occurred in the San Siro area, where a Stray Kids concert was taking place, with several people fleeing among thousands of waiting young people, watched on the street by local police patrols, but without injury. So far there have been no reports of any particular accidents or flooding in the city, apart from damage to tiles and cornices. The Seviso and Lambro rivers are under supervision but not under a state of emergency. Firefighters carried out several dozen interventions, about 20 more serious ones in the area northwest of Milan, and especially in Cornerito and Bareggio, where several fallen branches and also several trees damaged parked cars Mama even seriously, mia. but without causing, as far as we know at this time, any injury. The Natural Risk Monitoring Center has also issued an orange weather warning for thunderstorms and hydrogeological risks that will last throughout the day of July 12th until 4 a.m. on Saturday, July 13th. In the morning, severe weather hit the provinces of Como, Varese, Lecco and Bergamo. Tornadoes and a strong ice storm caused damage and flooding. It was reported that dozens of trees had fallen and roofs were not covered. But in Milan, a thunderstorm struck several buildings, causing fires at two electrical substations and blocking subway circulation. The authorities recommend monitoring weather forecasts through trusted sources, such as the Civil Protection website or the Lombardy Region website. Here are some pointers. Secure outdoor items that can be moved by the wind, such as patio furniture. Avoid parking the car under trees or unstable buildings. Prepare flashlights and emergency equipment in case of a power outage. Check drainage systems and clean gutters and drains. If you must go out, drive carefully and stay away from underpasses and areas at risk of flooding. 40 degrees in the South Central, hail in Milan, yes, because on the evening of Friday, July 12th at around 8 p.m., in the middle of intense summer, a strong hailstorm with pieces of ice hitting the streets hit Lombardy capital. In just a matter of minutes, but in such a short time, in some cases, hail the size of walnuts and even billiard balls came, but this was enough to cause fear considering how hard the hail hit the roof and skylight on the car or worse on vehicle windows. People tried to take shelter under tents and balconies. Witnesses spoke of pieces the size of billiard balls. Lightning struck two electrical substations. During the wave of bad weather that hit Milan on Friday morning, Several lightning bolts struck two subway electrical substations along Viale Palmanova, near the Simeano metro station. The blaze created thick clouds of smoke that could be seen from the road. The fire in the first cabin has been extinguished, and the firefighting team on Via Messina is concentrating its activities on the second cabin on the surface. Accident affecting subway traffic. Traffic on the M2 was stopped on the section affected by the problem for about six hours. Then restart. The train turns around but passes Simiano Station. At around 1 p.m., the ATM announced the problem. Traffic, due to lightning that burned out the control unit, had stopped between Piola and Casinagaba, a stretch that progressively, with the resolution of the problem, was gradually reduced to the Simiano Crescenzigo stretch around 16.30. Vehicles do not travel in both directions, causing obstacles and inconvenience for travelers. Although trains operate regularly between Casinagaba and Jessate, between Colonio and Casinagaba, and between Abiata Grasso Asego and Cayazo, ATM has had to arrange replacement buses along the affected routes. There is a direct shuttle bus between Loreto and Casinagaba, without intermediate stops. Both yesterday and today, the Risk Monitoring Center of the Lombardy region issued a yellow weather warning for thunderstorms. 
In particular, as usual, civil protection officers are monitoring the Seviso and Lambro rivers, which are always at risk of flooding. This action is expected to last until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Starting tomorrow, Saturday, July 13th, the good weather will return and will remain constant until the end of the week. The most affected towns were Cornerito and Barrejo, where fire crews removed tree branches that had fallen on several cars. A landslide caused by bad weather in Veneto, where two cars and a heavy vehicle were trapped between two landslides that slipped into the valley, invaded the State Road 51 Ale Magna in the Fat Alto area, between Val La Piscina, Treviso, and Alpago, Belluno, a short distance one another. Piedmont is in the grip of bad weather. A powerful storm in the upper region of Navarra has caused traffic slowdowns and difficulties on the A26 on the route between Castelletto Ticino and Romagnano Sicia. On Lake Orda in the Petanasco area, a strong ice storm was recorded. There have been many reports of electricity supply disruptions, even in urban areas. Fallen plants blocking vehicle traffic were reported throughout the road network, especially in the Gattaco and Veruno areas. Thunderstorms since 8 this morning also occurred in the Turin and Canavese areas, where several fallen trees and traffic disruption were reported. Due to the bad weather, Arpa Piemonte has issued a yellow warning bulletin today for strong thunderstorms, especially in the regions of Turin, Verbano, Nevera, Versailles, and Biella. And to be precise, in the Biella area, dozens of requests for intervention were received this morning by firefighters due to fallen trees and damaged public lighting poles. A critical situation also occurred on the railway line from Biella to Santhia and Nevera due to a branch on the tracks. The most affected areas are Vergnasco, Magnanevolo, Zubiina, Castellengo and Candelo.